a lesson on K. For this bit of purple graph, I can see the vertex is actually 5,2, and I can see the x-intercept are 3 and 7. So I could do it both ways. The first way I'm going to use is the vertex method. So y equals k x minus 5 squared plus 2. Because I'm using my general formula of y equals k x minus a squared plus b where that there is my vertex a comma b and k is a shape. If I actually tried to read the shape of the graph, I could go across one and down approximately a half. So it looks like k is negative a half. Let's see what happens. I need to sub a point in. So the point I'm going to use in this case to confuse matters is actually going to be that point there, which is also a vertex. So we're going to sub x is 3, y is 0 into uh, x comma y. So the y is 0, so 0 equals k, x is 3, so 3 minus 5 squared plus 2. Now I have to solve for k. So I have got, I'm just moving up here, 0 equals k, 3 minus 5 is negative 2 squared plus 2. And I'm taking 2 off both sides, so I've got negative 2 equals... And negative 2 squared is 4, so that's 4k. Now I'm dividing both sides by 4. And if I divide both sides by 4, I get k equals negative 2 upon 4. And then I've got negative a half. Now, your algebra is letting you down. So you go menu. Alright? And then you go to equation. Then you go to solver. And then you write zero equals to find my equal sign shift equals k, which I'm going to call x, and then I've got three minus five squared plus two execute. Execute again. Negative 0.5. Bingo. Now we're going to do the whole thing again, but we're going to use the intercept method. Okay. So let's just remember uh, we had that equation of y equals negative 0 0.5 x minus 5 squared plus all right, so that's what we worked out. Once you've worked out K, you better write the equation. Oh, I can leave that there. Nah, get rid of it. Get rid of it and get rid of all of that. So this time, we're looking at the intercepts. So we're going to use the general equation of Y equals K, X minus A, X minus B, where A and B are, this time, the uh, x-intercepts. So y equals k, x minus 3, x minus 7. Okay, now sub the point, we might as well use the vertex, but normally it wouldn't be, it would be some other point. Sub um, 5 comma 2, 4, x comma y. So my y is 2, so 2 equals k, my x is 5, 5 minus 3, 5 minus 7. So I go again F3 solver, clear all of that, hmm, how, do I, how am I going to clear all of that, I'm not liking it, delete, yes delete, go away, right, okay, 2. Shift equals my k is x, bracket, 5 
minus 3, close bracket. I'm not sure if I need times or not, I'll stick it on for fun. N5 minus 7, close bracket. Execute. Execute again. Negative 0.5, same k value. Funny that. So this equation, so we've got the same k value. So just to make room, we can remember that k value, it's on the calculator. We can get rid of all of that for the minute, and the equation is y equals negative 0.5x minus 3 and x minus 7. So these two, if you did bother expanding them, you would prove that they're exactly the same equation, just in two different forms. This one's the intercept uh, form, and this one is the vertex form. Okay, so solving for k, if you can't do algebra, shouldn't be a problem.